one second. All right, we gotta fix that or it was gonna fall. Oh boy, all right. So this will be a 365 day devotional times two because I'll do two of them because the first one is short. It's just a, a prayer, a prayer for your story and then uh, use your unit. Yeah, let's probably go back into how each of us is unique. Unique talents and gifts and nobody else in the world is like us. You can uh, you try to copy people and you'll just never get it right. You need to be yourself. That's right. All right. So this will be a prayer for your story. God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Isn't that cool that we're created in his image? It's pretty awesome. Nothing else is created like that. Nothing in the world. But we are man and woman in his image. So it is Genesis of one twenty-seven. O oh Lord, author of my life, thank you for creating me in your image and starting my story. Help me to write it carefully and truly become like you. Come, O oh come, Emmanuel, and help me to complete my story well. In Jesus' name, amen. Hmm. So that's good, yeah, to remember that he did start our story. He knew us before we were in his mother's room. He had a plan. He planned for us, and he already had a, a plan and purpose for our life. That's good. So then it goes into use your Eunice. Do not neglect the gift that is in you. Oh, no. Always going to the gifts and the talents and the will of God and all that. Let's see what Max got to say. No one else has your Eunice. No one else in all of history has your unique history. That is very true. No one else in God's great design has your divine design. No one else shows your blend of personality, ability, and ancestry. Well, that's true. When God made you, the angel stood in awe and declared, We've never seen one like that before, and they never will again. You are heaven's first and final attempt at you. You are matchless, unprecedented, and unequaled. Consequently, you can do something no one else can do in a fashion no one else can. Call it what you wish, a talent, a skill set, a gift, an anointing, a divine spark, an unction, a call. The terms are different, but the truth is the same. The Spirit has given each of us a special way of serving others. 1 Corinthians 12, 7 Each of us, not some of us, a few of us, or the elite among us. Many people stop short of their destiny. They settle for someone else's story. They fit in, settle in, and blend in, but they never find their call. Don't make that same mistake. Your existence is not accidental. Your skills are not incidental. God shaped each person in turn. Psalm thirty-three, fifteen. Find your Eunice and use it for the kingdom. Very cool. Uh, many people stop short of their destiny. Yeah. The Spirit has given each of us a special way of serving each other. Hmm. Wherever you are, I mean, um, if you're a follower of Christ, you're going to do everything well, pretty well. But there's going to be some, some things that you do exceptionally well that you don't see anybody else doing that you, that you know of. And you stand out for that one thing. So don't get distracted by the world and all the other things that you think might be cool. You're probably in the will of God and um, your gift, your gift is going, it's being used more than you think so. You know, people may not thank you all the time or acknowledge you and what you do, but it is special. Very, very special. You bring that unique spin on it. Um, other people aren't 100% in and don't know that and don't fulfill their purpose totally at what they're doing. They don't do everything to glorify God, but but you do. And that's pretty cool. Really, really cool. It's very unique. Um, so just by doing that and honoring God and being obedient and doing that, you will be thoroughly, thoroughly blessed. Yeah, because you're fulfilling your purpose for right now. And if it changes in the future and if it's something new, you'll fulfill your purpose there, hopefully. Hopefully you'll do your best there and stand out and be unique too. And your gifts will be used there too. So, of course, always stay in prayer about that. Pray every day that God is with you and that he will lead you uh, what you're going to do today. Uh, my code says, do the next right thing. 
That's right. So all you can do is be led by God and say, God, I surrender to your will today. Whatever it is you want me to do, I'll do it. Um, I pray that you're with me and you guide me and uh, send me the helper, like you said, the Holy Spirit, which lives within of us. So, wow. Yeah, so I surrender whatever your will is. But uh, I'll remain patient too at the same time. And I'll be a good listener and show people unconditional love. Wherever I'm at, you know, even if you're a law enforcement officer, unconditional love, still lay down the law, but, uh, I love you, man, but you're wrong. I gotta take you to jail, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that'd be an interesting one. Yeah. Try to save all the people that you, uh, that you arrest. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Good. Unique thing we got out there with all the people, all the uh, mercy responders and uh, nurses and doctors and mercy room nurses and doctors. It's crazy. ICU, um, patrol officers, man, fire department, EMTs, paramedics, uh, military, military that's on call, reserves, and crazy stuff. Thank you for all those mercy responders. Thank you. For all these unique people using their gifts and their talents, hopefully right where they're supposed to be, and doing their job. Because imagine if you didn't do those jobs 100% in. You know, if you didn't do your job, somebody's requiring you to do work, you're working for somebody, you're not doing your job 100%. Ooh, yeah, something's not, or, I don't know. God sees everything, God knows everything, so do it pleasing to God. Somebody's watching. No God's watching, so do stuff that pleases your father. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. That is a Max Lucado. God is with you every day, and uh, the cats took off. Good. They should take off. All right. Love you guys as always. Stay in the Holy Bible. Hey, I believe Perez, and I talked about law enforcement. I bet you're in law enforcement too now. I think you probably are. Nope, see, if you randomly open the Bible, you probably don't want to go to Judges, even though you would want to go to Deuteronomy. And there's some really cool stuff. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So God is with you every day. Remember that and pray for his guidance every day and protection. And protection for your friends and your family and your co-workers. You can always pray about that, and God will honor that for sure. And wisdom and knowledge and patience and all that you do. And, of course, faith and hope and love. Unconditional love, faith, and hope, and obedience. Always pray for that stuff, and God will totally honor that for sure. Yep. All right. As always, love you guys because you guys are awesome. Awesome. You're my brothers and my sisters. That's cool. Take care. Bye. Miss Ivalee Perez with some beautiful kids. I got a roll. See ya. All right. Bye. Yeah, it's cool when you can see the people who are watching. Yeah. See you guys.